Hello, this is Vern, and today I'm going to reveal something that your well-intentioned girlfriends and loving family can't. Seven brutally honest reasons why men won't commit to you, and better yet, what you can do to turn the tables around starting today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com. If you'd like to learn to attract your ideal life partner, Without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now to be notified of new episodes as they come out. It'd be very easy for me or anyone who's recording a video for you to bash men and say, hey, men don't want commitment, end of story. And I think that the biggest complaint I hear from women when they don't seem to be getting the type of commitment they want from men is that it's just that. Men just don't want the type of commitment I'm looking for. And that's only partly true. Some men don't want the type of commitment. As a matter of fact, I'm going to discuss four types of guys, but some men do. So the first type of guy you need to be aware of is the type of guy who craves commitment and thrives through commitment and is looking for a relationship. That's the unicorn that pretty much every woman I've connected with who's looking for a relationship is looking for. Now, you're going to find some of those guys, but not the majority of men out there, so sit tight. Second type of guy is going to be someone who is looking for commitment and will commit under the right circumstances, but is afraid of committing and making a mistake. And you're going to find lots of guys who fit that criteria, and if you're not patient enough to actually know how to connect with them, then you might dismiss them as not wanting commitment. Third type of guy is a confused man, which is pretty much the most dangerous type of man, because when somebody clearly states to you that he doesn't want anything, that's the fourth type of guy, then if you go for it, then it's on you. But if a guy is kind of hinging at, I might want commitment, I might not want commitment, and you really feel connected with him, then you might say, well, in case he does, I'm going to spend some time with him. So it's very, very important for you to learn to understand where a man is in his life stage and what a man craves in terms of commitment. Because the first mistake, the first reason why you may not be getting commitment that you want is because you're not sure how to vet men properly and put them in the right little box so that you don't waste and invest time unnecessarily on the wrong type of guy. Because if you're with a confused man or if you're with a guy who doesn't want commitment, then if you feel the chemistry, if you feel strong visceral connection with them, you might tell your brain that he'll change his tune or you might downplay the signs that you see that he doesn't want commitment and then hurt your heart again and again by thinking that all men don't want commitment when in reality the guys you're connecting with and investing time with and choosing to not vet properly are the ones who don't want commitment. The second reason why you may not be getting the commitment you want for men is because you're giving your power away early on and not letting them earn your intimacy through investment in time, energy and pursuit. So what does that mean? Well, imagine that you go to a museum and that day, you really want to go into the museum and they give you the option, right? They say, you know what, right now, uh, the tickets are all paid for, but you can, if you want to, pay $1, you can pay $15, or you can pay $100. And then you say, you know what, if it's already paid for, I'm going to go in for free. So what will a guy do when you offer intimacy, when you have sex with them, when you offer your body and your physical connection with them without him doing the work, two things happen. He doesn't invest enough emotionally to feel the level of attachment he needs to, to not go away later on. But second, if he's getting the museum ticket entry for free, why on earth would he pay $100 for it? Now, this is not to say that you should play games with him. This is not about being gamish in any way. This is about knowing that when a guy gets something and doesn't invest any energy in it, he finds little value in it. So. Take the time to know men, to know them for, for a while, and to not have sex with them until, until there's an investment in terms of him being your boyfriend, him being exclusive with you, him having shown you through time that he's not just there for the honeymoon period, he's there because he really wants to create a long-lasting connection with someone, that someone being you. Third reason why men are not committing to you despite your wishes for them to commit to you is because you're getting needy and clingy without enough emotional investment. Basically, if you connect with someone and you start going 100 miles an hour and you have specific needs and very understandable needs and without vetting him properly, without the right friendship, without the right 
understanding of who he is, you project into the relationship the needs that you have and you feel th that you think that he's going to feel those needs without him having shown you that he's ready for those things, without him having invested in you enough to where there's that back and forth and now he feels he needs you as well, then you're going to start connecting with him and putting energy and pressure on him that's unnecessary. Why? Because what happens if you decide that you're going to date more than one guy and you're not going to be exclusive with any of them and you're not going to have sex with any of them, you're not going to go the physical route with any of them, you'll start progressing with all of them and then as guys start investing in you emotionally, then you feel that the, the vision that you have for the relationship is possible for them, but not before. When you skip ahead and start projecting that someone who you feel connected with is the right guy without him showing you, that's when you get in trouble and then you start asking him to be your boyfriend metaphorically without, ask, without the words. You start asking him energetically for him to be your boyfriend and he's not ready for that yet. Now before I go in through steps four through seven, let me just make a huge invitation to you right now. If you're a single woman watching this video, there's a high probability that you're not sure what's the real root underlying reason why you're still single. You might know the symptoms, but the real reason you might be unaware of. So what I've done is I've created a free quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single and better yet, what you can do about it starting right now. So if you want to participate in that quiz, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this answer a few simple questions and you'll be on your way to understanding number one what's the real reason you're still single and number two what you can do to turn the tables around on that starting today reason number four why you may not be finding the commitment you're looking for is even though you intellectually understand that you bring value when push comes to shove you doubt it sometimes when a man connects with you and you feel that he has the characteristics or the qualities or the things you've been looking for for a while you start putting him in a pedestal, you start giving him free passes, you start lowering your own value, you start asking the question, what if he doesn't like me? Instead of focusing on the things you bring to the table, you start thinking and picking away in your brain as to why he may not want you. Now, you might think that this is something that's happening in your brain, but when you show up with less confidence, when you show up with less understanding of the value that you bring to the table, when you start putting him in a pedestal, when you stop understanding that you are the prize in this equation, that you bring something he can never create on his own, the light, light, the energy, the awesomeness that you bring to the table is something that he's clearly looking for in his life. And he can't just fulfill that on his own. He wants that spark and connection with the feminine. When you doubt that, then you act in ways that let him know that you're not as valuable as you truly are. <laughs> Reason number five, that goes hand in hand with the previous one is you don't have clear boundaries that he can step into. And we're talking about time boundaries. We're talking about physical connection. We're talking about boundaries of what it really takes to even go on a date with you. Why? Because think about it this way. When a man understands that you have standards and you have high intensity and you bring light and you're a beautiful woman in your own right, then he wants to step through those hurdles to get to the promised land. When you show up and don't have those boundaries, there's something in the back of his mind that, that he starts doubting. Like, well, if she's so awesome, why is he giving me, why, why is she making it so easy for me to like be late to the date? Or why is she, is, is she asking me the questions about what I really want in a relationship? So here are the steps I recommend. If you want to make sure to establish some basic boundaries that will take away so much of the pain that you're experiencing. Number one is the boundary of what will it take for you to go on a date with him. And the, the, the minimum should be you have an understanding as to what he is looking for in a partner. And there might be a few deal breakers that you want to clear up early on, including if you want children, for example, that's a must for you. If you want somebody who's not doing drugs, that might be a must for you. There's a few things that you want to clear up. If you want marriage, that might be a deal breaker for you. You want to clear those things up early on. There's no reason why you should go on endless dates with someone who doesn't want the same type of relationship you want. The next boundary will be the, the boundary of exclusivity. You want to make sure that you date more than one guy and that you don't become the de facto girlfriend by virtue of thinking that this guy is great from the beginning when he hasn't proven himself yet and you're not sure if you're compatible yet regardless of what the app says and regardless of what the on paper version of him says. The next one is going to be physical connection. You want to make sure that you don't go into something physical early on, that you wait to have sex with him until you have exclusivity so that you understand 
who he really is before your mind gets clouded by emotions and by hormones that will prevent you from seeing the truth. Reason number six is you're afraid to walk away. The truth is when you're in a relationship with someone, whether it's dating someone to become exclusive or you're in a relationship with someone and you want something deeper like moving in together or uh, getting engaged or getting married, when you're afraid to walk away, you give away your power because you act in ways that let him know that he can get away with anything. So you need to have the clarity in your mind that regardless of how awesome, how special, how amazing the connection is, there's something sacred that you're going for. There's a type of entity that's the relationship you're seeking that's beyond, it's bigger than you, it's bigger than him, and it's something pretty sacred. So when you go for something that has to do with bringing more light into the world through the union of both of you than you can bring by each other, by, by, by you yourself or him himself, then you understand that if the relationship, if the clarity, if the respect, if the boundaries, if the pursuit is not there, that you need to pull back and you need to let him know through your conversation and through your actions that if things don't change that you're willing to walk away. Many of the women I've connected with throughout the years who have someone who for years is kind of hinting a commitment and not committing is only doing that because there's no consequence to his lack of commitment. I think once you get to a certain stage in a relationship where there's clarity, there's companionship, there's union, there's friendship, and there's chemistry, if the thing is not moving forward, you need to have clarity in terms of what are your steps to walk away from that relationship, whether it's temporarily or permanently, so that he understands that if he wants you, he needs to invest the right steps. And the last one is you might be letting go of your light. Here's what happens when you enter a relationship with someone, you're excited, and then when things don't go the way you want to, and you start losing confidence, he starts not committing, he maybe plays games, you start letting go of your light. You start living vicariously through his energy. You start feeling that he's your oxygen. You forget who you really are. You forget to bring the things that he actually fell in love with. So when you let go of your light, the relationship is going to be stagnant because no longer is he pursuing that human being that he feels is invaluable, bright, and shiny, but you're letting go of yourself energetically and you're becoming a lesser intense version. Maybe you're, you're less happy, you're less radiant, you're less connected, and you're less worthy in your own right. So whatever you end up doing in any step of this process, whether it's dating or in a relationship, you need to remember that the number one factor that's going to make sure that he's always connected, always going for more, always pursuing you, is that you do the things you need to do within yourself so that you can bring your biggest, brightest, most amazing light and that if he doesn't recognize it, that you have the clarity and compassion to have conversations with him and if he still doesn't get it, that you move along because somebody else will see you and somebody else will want that light. Don't let it dim because of someone. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If it is and you want to go the distance and you want to understand why you're still single, then click on that first link to go through the free quiz. 60 seconds later, you'll have your answer. If you like this video, click like or thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes. And last but not least, if you're listening to me right now and you want to go beyond the quiz and beyond the videos and you want my hand-holding and guidance and accountability and strategy, the one I've used to help hundreds of women to get what they want when they couldn't before, then second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your home, into your phone. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.